Welcome back, Egyptians, to Truly Divinely Sent. All right, ancestors closest to the sun, please help me channel this message. Please tune into my frequency or allow me to tune into yours. Please keep me protected as I channel through this energy, please, and thank you. Ancestors closest to the sun, you may remain. All others, you must leave. Okay. All right, so this is the energy, okay? Um, I got a little bit of advice from you guys about my nail yesterday, okay? And so I don't have any nail glue. I don't deal with nail glue at all. So I had some crazy glue, okay? So this crazy glue is like stuck to my finger, okay? Um, so it's almost like clingy energy. It represents clingy, okay? And it's uncomfortable, all right? It's uncomfortable. The little bit that is on my skin is, is, is there. Somebody is crazy glued to you. Somebody is stuck like glue to you and it's uncomfortable. Okay. This is the energy that I'm, I've, I've been pulled to. Um, it's one thing to have somebody stuck like glue to you. This is somebody we want stuck to us. Okay. But for it to be uncomfortable, that's like, it's giving heavy stalker energy. This person is, um, a little derailed, a little deranged. Um, soon as I sat down here, I noticed that there were um, airplanes in the sky. And what caused me to notice the airplanes that keep coming by, um, I was just sitting here messing with the cards. And all of a sudden, I'm like, damn, that sounds like a lawnmower in the sky. Like the, the, the airplane is really raggedy. It sounds really loud and clunky. Like, but it's really raggedy and, and it brought my attention to it. So this person is trying to get your attention. Is is they want some they want to say something to you. They want to get through to you. Um, they're being loud and obnoxious. Okay. They're showing up at awkward times. It's like a lot more, a lot more in the sky. Okay. How awkward would that be for you to see a lot more in the sky? So it's like this person is 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 possibly um showing themselves at the oddest times they're they're in places where they're not supposed to be this is the energy that this is given that shit is about to come back around okay now i paid attention to the message that it was carrying and it's carrying it say leaf and bud i read it backwards it says leaf and bud okay then it say big sale with the marijuana leaf so they're in the sky right now representing a marijuana like come and get your drugs come and get it like this is really what's going on right now in my neighborhood but to tie that to the message you have somebody here that is on marijuana okay this person loves their weed okay but with the iceberg here this could be exalted power this could be hidden knowledge but this also could be that somebody has a bigger problem than what anybody thinks okay so this person has possibly some sort of major addiction to um marijuana here this is what i'm getting this person is not um in harmony they're not at peace okay this is a masculine they're showing up with the heart in reverse this is peace and harmony here they are not at peace by it showing up in reverse this person is untamed right now okay very much so untamed energy kind of wild energy from what i'm getting this person like i said is loud this person is obnoxious this person goes through mood swings when they don't have marijuana this person i'm getting that this person is lacking funds for what they consider to be their medicine here we got wish okay now this could be basically plain and simple a wish but what i got from this is um what was it hold on let me see what it was Oh, hoping for the impossible, okay? So somebody, uh, uh, there's a masculine here who is untamed. He is hoping for the impossible. What I'm getting here is that there is a feminine in this energy that has made some drastic changes, okay? My um, incense that I am burning right now is third eye, okay? And it has a gash kind of out of the incense where it's, it's, it's like... Um, a space missing a little bit okay so what i'm i'm tying that into the reading and saying that there's a divine feminine 
who had a gash in their third eye. This person is now waking up, okay? Beautifully with the Ankh here. This person is now waking up their third eye and is, is being done with some sort of a situation here. But being done completely with a situation has caused some sort of um, problem here. These cards here, okay? These cards here, as I was shuffling, these cards came out withdrawal and emotions. So there's a masculine here that he's withdrawn in his emotions, but he's wondering why have you pulled away from him? Okay, this person is really worried about what's wrong with you. Like, how come you pulling away from me? Like, this is like not what it's supposed to be. Hold on, you supposed to be attached to me. We supposed to be friends. We supposed to be this. We supposed to be that. I'm getting that you are isolating yourself, okay, for the for the sake of your third eye. You're isolating yourself from this person now. This is something that somebody is just now starting to do. You could have possibly um, started this within the last few months or so, okay? We got barrel here, and it is you feel something is lacking in your life and then stepping into a new experience. So it looks like somebody stepped into some sort of a new experience here. You are you have always you you're, you you felt like something was definitely lacking, so you decided to put your best foot forward. This is what this is showing here. But there is somebody that is also lacking something in their life, and they see that you are putting your best foot forward in this situation. This is somebody who feels like um, they're not good enough for you. This person feels like you're you're starting to do something exciting with your life with Firecracker in October. This could have happened. They could have seen you doing something in October, okay? This person could be a Libra. This person could be a Scorpio. But this person could have possibly saw that you were putting your best foot forward in October and that you had some sort of excitement about yourself that happened in October or the fall season, okay? We have Peacock here. It says, beware of great pride and victory in some endeavor. So somebody here is reaching some sort of goal. Remember I said with that third eye incense, somebody is, is opening up very well. You had some sort of gash there, but now somebody is opening up. All right, that's the victory here, but beware of great pride, okay? So you have some people that is um, showing you, starting to, beginning to show you their real colors here. All right, this is the energy. Beware of pride that is lurking around you. This is somebody who is seeing, um, this is somebody who's possibly unable to change, and this person is seeing that you are making like big strides, okay? With this leg here, you are making big strides in your change, okay? And this is sort of unbelievable to this person. It's somebody here who can't believe that you're just not attached to them anymore, okay? This is somebody who never thought that things would end between you two, okay? When I try to clarify more about what this energy is, um, with this person who is full of pride, okay? We got cloud with temporary problem, okay? Whatever problem this masculine is having, this is permanent, all right? Whatever problem that this person is having, this is permanent. I'm not saying that people cannot change, but in this masculine's case, this is appearing that this person is not going to uh, is not going to change for this person in this lifetime, okay? I'm kind of picking up on um, this person has lived many lifetimes without receiving their karma, okay? This is the energy that I'm picking on now. We have coins in reverse. Money will be coming to you. This is this masculine's energy, okay? It is going to be permanent that this masculine is going to have some sort of a financial problem. This masculine is always going to be in some sort of bind here from the looks of it. And I'm getting it's because this person, of going back to that gash that was in that third eye instant, this person closed their eye. This person has not, they, they, it's something wrong with this person's third eyes, possibly blocked. Okay, I'm getting that he has something with his eye. He has put his eye out. He has lost his crown. This person, this masculine has lost his crown, which is going to make him very unfortunate for the rest of this lifetime. This masculine is attached to you some sort of kind of way, but it looks like you have opened up your third eye and you see that there is a bigger problem here. Okay, this masculine has a problem with marijuana. Um, it's but it's, very, it's deeper than what you think. I'm getting that this person possibly cannot stop because 
they may not be in their right mind emotionally okay separated from their emotions is what i just got from these two cards here this person is separated from their emotions they only know toxicity they only can um and this is what it is that they're missing between you two but i'm getting that you're not in that toxic energy anymore okay we got heartache over what you no longer have okay this is the masculine this masculine is starting to feel something when it comes to whatever connection that you had but this is not the feelings of oh my gosh i'm healing and i think i love this woman and i think i want to make it's not those type of feelings this person is having heartache over wait a minute Things are changing in my life. It's supposed to be like this, like this, and like this. Well, wait a minute. Who put this over there? Why is this out the way? Like this person is not going as this person is used to this going um, because they're used to you playing a major role in their deceptive ways or in their, um, in, in whatever type of energy that they roll with. They're used to, let's say like if this person is used to waking up um, on the wrong side of the bed and calling you and fucking your day up, okay? You're no longer there to get your day fucked up. You're no longer there for this person to call for you, for him to fuck up your day, okay? So this makes this person, this person is like, I gotta find somebody else to fuck their day up. I gotta find, you know, this person is, is out of the norm for this person, okay? And this is very uncomfortable, all right? The energy is uncomfortable here. We got mule, which someone is extremely stubborn, and this is in reverse, um, and willing to, and, and unwilling to change, okay? So it looks like this is you, all right? You, it's in reverse. So it looks like you are the person that was willing to change and climb the ladder to success, all right. It was you who finally put your foot down to go ahead and change some sort of a situation that was holding you back. Something where you felt like you were lacking something and started to put your best foot forward. You putting your best foot forward has caused this person to smoke even more than what they were smoking. OK, this has caused this person to be um, in an unpeaceful type of energy. And this person is hoping for something that is impossible okay this person is hoping that you go back to sleep and i'm getting that you are not an energy that is going to allow yourself to go back to sleep because you have awakened so much in this uh in your healing journey okay we got bridge here with successfully overcoming a problem so that's you and advice from a friend so somebody gave you some sort of advice that helped you get over a bridge here that helped you overcome some sort of problems here and this is what's being seen all right this person is seeing that you are release relieving yourself and releasing yourself from some sort of karmic attachment some sort of um I just got uncomfortable display. So this person could possibly um, have been somebody who was loud in public, embarrassing you in public. You've released yourself from whatever energy this is. This person had no boundaries when it came to you, when it came to embarrassing you, okay? I got big worry over nothing and love, all right? Now, what I got from these two cards is that you've been worrying about something your whole life, but you just decided to, you like, why am I worrying about love? Why am I worrying about love? This is somebody who woke up to, I just need to love myself, okay? This is the energy that this is giving, but somebody else, this is a misunderstanding for somebody else, and this is peace and harmony in reverse with the wind chimes, okay? Somebody is, is this is like a misunderstanding, all right? This is how somebody feels. This is a masculine who feels like, wait a minute, this is a misunderstanding here. Okay, at the bottom of this deck, I do have teapot where it say deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So, you know, I'm not going to dive into that energy because that's been the energy lately unless it actually show itself out here. Um, but it looks like um, there's somebody here who feels like you have some sort of misunderstanding about them. Um, this person is also... Um, confused about some the distance that's between you guys um but this person is not uh, in peace they're okay they, it, they, both of these are the same type of cards they're in, they're both in reverse peace and harmony both in reverse okay so this person is a riot right now is what i just heard all right this person is definitely a riot and this person is not understanding what is going on why is she um not who she's supposed why is she not acting how i need her to act this is the energy here okay let me pull a few cards here all right this person is like they're out of um it's like out of order it's like out of order as long as you're not in that person's life this person is like completely out of order here okay 
give me more okay we got stubborn energy with miser we got healer okay and we got dilettante here okay so this is somebody is stubborn about healing this is this masculine this masculine is not even touching the surface here with dilettante this person is not even touching the surface of his healing energy here they told me to change the deck here all right, so that's all they wanted to tell me about this. This person is not healing in this situation. He's being very, very stubborn, okay? With Miser, he's being stubborn when it comes to his healing, and he is, like, not even trying to scratch the surface with Dilaton. okay? So this is what these cards wanted to tell me here, all right? This is the reason why this masculine is going through what he's going through. As we saw here, that he has lost the crown, Okay, he has lost his damn crown and this person is having a hard time. This is not going to be something temporary for him. This is going to be permanent in this lifetime. This masculine will have money troubles, money problems in this lifetime here. Okay, we got something going on with a child here. Journey is stuck. All right. All right. Journey was just stuck at the bottom. All right. So this masculine is a looks like he's on some sort of journey here. We got child. We got false person. We got poverty and lovers, okay? So I'm getting that there's someone here in the energy you could have possibly found out that this person was being false about a child. It could be some sort of new baby. Somebody got somebody pregnant. This person told you they didn't have children, but they have children. It looks like this person is taking you on some sort of journey here that you actually believed when this person came to you and said something. This person is showing up here as a false person. You're realizing that this person is um, wearing some sort of a mask. What kind of mask? That kind of mask, okay? This person is not showing their true self when it comes to the situation. This person has always been some sort of impoverished lover, okay? This person has always been impoverished, but they have been peacocking themselves, okay? They've been um, wearing this mask for quite some time when it came to lovers, okay? This person could have possibly been showing up as a wealthy man, but this person was stuck in his own thoughts. Okay, he was a prisoner to his own thoughts. This was like a dream for this person. This person just dreamed and thought all the time of being a wealthy man, but this person is, is not in wealthy man energy. This person is impoverished energy, okay? This is the energy that this is given. This masculine is definitely impoverished. He definitely has some sort of strong uh, addiction to weed here. This masculine, again, is not thinking calm. Um, It's showing up here as very um false okay even lied about children you could be seeing the numbers 188 okay that could be significant 188 could be significant we got pathway all right so this person is now thinking about where he's going to go he's in prison in his own mind from what i can see okay this person doesn't know exactly where to start all right um wow we got courthouse we got courthouse. If this person is, is, is it's going to be a lot of business handling this person is going to have to do to get his shit back on track here. We got thief here. This person is thinking of a way to come up. That that it involves something some type of courthouse here. All right? This man is not thinking on the up and up. He's trying to get uh some sort of come up by any means possible, but this masculine is really really concerned with what has changed with you. Why are things different with us, okay? This masculine, yeah, we got pain here, all right? Pain, ap very apprehensive, okay? This person is cautious as well. This person doesn't know what's going on. This person wants you to tell him why. Confess to him why you have put some sort of boundary up in this relationship. All right. So I'm getting that this person is, like I said, this person is very clingy. This person has a, a lot of stalker energy. He wants to know why you are putting some sort of boundary up, not letting him return to you. Okay. This is the energy that I am getting here. Okay. This person is, is definitely in a fantasy world. I'm getting that this person does not believe that it's over between you guys. All right. This, but this person is going through some sort of hardships. Meanwhile, you're on the other end raising here. This is a, this has been in the energy a lot 
All right. I'm actually proud to see that divine feminists are actually waking up out of their situation. But somebody here has someone who smokes a lot of marijuana, a lot of weed. Somebody smoke a lot of weed. OK, blow all their money on weed. This possibly makes them unstable at the same time that they think it makes them stable. OK, this person is wondering why you have changed. All right. This person is definitely watching you. Definitely in that um, stalker energy. They're watching you reject them all right this person cannot understand why it is that you are rejecting them and they're go they're at their breaking point okay this is the message here somebody is unhinged untamed with boy coming up in reverse this person is at their breaking point because they saying like it's only you they they feel like you got them distracted right now all right. This is what this person is thinking. This person is thinking that you are distracting them and you doing it on purpose. This person is saying, I can't even go to work thinking about you. This person is saying, I can't do this thinking about you. Like this is somebody who is solely tied up in what you're doing, why you're doing it, how you're doing it. This person is not thinking clearly with cloudy, cloudy judgment here. Okay. This is somebody who is definitely not thinking clearly. You have made this person an ex from what I'm seeing. You made this person an ex. And this person regrets not listening to the signs and synchronicities and reading in between the lines. So somebody have let somebody go. And this is something that this person possibly never thought would happen here. Yeah, somebody has been put behind you. Okay, somebody is in past life energy, um, I guess is about to go through their karmic lessons. But this person is definitely watching you, lusting over you. Okay, lusting over you. All right, this person is very sticky, very clingy. This is somebody that you don't trust, okay? This is for sure somebody that you don't trust. Um, you could have caught this pers person watching you. This is, I guess you may have a family with this person, okay? But this is security. This at the bottom, it says security. This is somebody that you don't trust. I'm, I'm hearing security, security. So you may be calling the police on this person or may have had to call the police on this person because this person will not leave you alone, okay? Possibly had you in some sort of standoffish type of situation where you felt trapped here, okay? This person is um, unhinged very toxic energy um trying to um tie you down in any way shape or form but that's because this person is stuck this person clearly is stuck on you okay that is the energy exhaustion okay this person is depleting everything that they have about themselves because of you all right yeah uh, because of this commitment all right, this could be a husband. This could be somebody who is now an ex-husband. This is, could be somebody that you wanted to marry. This person is in complete confusion about where is the chemistry that we had? Where is the chemistry? This is all that this person is thinking about. Remember, this was a routine. This person has some sort of a routine and you were a part of their routine. Okay, and now that this routine has changed, this person has started smoking more weed. This person has become unhinged. Negative energy here. You are, but this person is becoming more and more unhinged because they're seeing that you are uh, moving in a direction that is only up, okay? This is what they're seeing. Meanwhile, they're stuck in some sort of poverty type of energy here. This person can't seem to understand why. Why, all right? Beginnings, start over. Why are you starting over with a situation where we're already halfway there? This person feels like you guys are halfway into something for some strange reason, this person felt like all of the back and forth that y'all went through, that was is what is going to get y'all to whatever final display it is, okay? So this person is like, why are you starting over when we already have been in this for so many years and, and, and this, that, and the other? This, and you're like, what are you talking about? We never even did anything. Like, I don't know your family. I don't know nothing really about you. Like, you, you're like... What are you talking about? Because this is like mostly toxic energy here. Like we we have gotten nowhere. So for me to start over is nothing. This is the energy that you're getting because giving because you're like, it's nothing for me to start over. You know, it's nothing for me to start over because it's like I, I didn't build anything. This is for somebody who did not, this was not a, a relationship where this was your husband or something like that. But this person is like, you're saying, Starting over is easy because me and you never began. That's that's basically what this energy is saying. This person feels like we done already did a lot together, and this but it's been all drama, okay? Distance and broken. Like I'm getting 
And I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. But this person is saying, like, it took us a long time to get here. And it's all broken. You know what I'm saying? This is the energy that this is giving. It took us a long time to get here to this broken heart. Like, he he doesn't realize that y'all really didn't get anywhere. Okay? You were in this energy too, but you woke up and you realized, wait a minute. This is all deceptive with elusive energy at the bottom of the deck. Okay? You realize, yeah, a sorrow here. You woke up. You woke up to a situation and realized just how sad and sorry your situation was. But this person, like, it took us so long to get to this brokenhearted energy. Like, y'all actually accomplished something. Like, y'all, just because y'all been through turmoil for so many um, years, this person feels like we've been through so much together. No, nigga, you put me through so much on your own, okay? And this is the energy that this is giving. Somebody here, a feminine here, has woke up to whatever this is and this person is now um in that busted ass helicopter that sound like a lawnmower by themselves steady trying to get you um to listen to them okay this is the energy that i'm getting here wanting you to give them some sort of a second chance here yeah longing for your energy and this card is backwards in the dead what is this it's over it is over with finality. This is the only one that was backwards in the deck. This person is not realizing that it is over. This person is hoping for something that is never going to happen. It is over in that situation with you guys, okay? And this is the reason why this person is giving um, stalker energy. It's, it's stalker energy here where this person is like, why are you not catering to my uh emotions why are you not catering to my emotional needs like you know that i'll be needing to talk to you about this and about that and you're not present for none of that anymore and this person is wondering why is it that i can't load off all of this negative energy onto you why have you closed that up all right this is really what this person is 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 going through okay we got calm here and game yeah i'm i'm getting that you're gaining a lot you are gaining a lot from some sort of calm energy you being by yourself you are gaining so much more somebody has co completely awakened their third eye you see three eyes here somebody has completely awakened their third eye okay don't forget the instant is third eye all right this is somebody who realized yeah i need my peace i'm gaining so much being by myself this is the energy you're very calm all right this is wow you're very calm good news yeah you're reaching goals here the good news is that you're starting to reach goals so i'm getting that you are somebody who felt like you had you was with a stagnant person like you could get nowhere with this person like you're finally getting somewhere that's the good news here and this person does not like that yeah yeah with fury and pro and protest this person is is trying to they're trying to get your attention this person is crying and screaming out for your attention they don't understand why you have distanced yourself but you like wait a minute i distance myself because look i got good news i'm going places now i'm doing things okay this is the reason why you distance yourself because now you're going places and this person is definitely trying to get your attention in, in the streets, everywhere that you go, this person is very clingy. This person is showing up where they should not even be showing up, okay? This is the energy. Give me more, okay? We got real estate here, all right? What is this real estate? That could be worth, that could be house, okay? That could be wealth, all right? What is this strategy? Somebody can't figure out how to come up. This person cannot, they don't have a strategy, of how to get themselves back on track, okay? Remember I said, and that's wealth here, okay? They don't have a strategy. This person will permanently be without the coin. This permanent, this person will be a uh, struggle, struggling. Like this is, is giving real heavy struggle life energy. Why? Because they lost their crown, okay? They didn't answer the call. This is what this is. This is somebody who did not answer the call, all right? We got okay, okay? And then we got illness. All right, so what is this? Okay, an illness. Mm. Okay, so I'm getting that somebody's masculine is possibly sick. 
this masculine is possibly sick and i'm getting that this is a message that he want to get to you with this raggedy ass airplane they keep coming by this is the reason why this person is constantly smoking weed as well okay this person has some sort of illness this person is because you're not taking this person back this person is like yeah okay okay yeah all right all right they know that they're dealing with something here and i'm getting that this person is possibly going to try to destroy your life by telling you something that you you might need to go get checked you might need to go do this yeah all right yeah okay like this is the energy that that person is in all right this person is down bad all right and it's because of his desires all right is because of his desires. He was living in some sort of a materialistic world here. This person is possibly, I don't know if this person is sick or not, but this person is possibly going to come and tell you at the highlight of your life, okay, that something is wrong with him and I think you probably need to go to the doctor too. This person is trying to definitely knock you off your square. This is not the same reading as yesterday. However, this is the same type of energy here. All right, this is the same type of person. This is giving bitter person energy. Very, very bitter. Somebody's blessings have been come, locked up and turned off and blocked and confined, okay? And this is the reason why this person is, is coming to you with all of this bullshit, okay? This person is definitely trying to enter your energy and make your energy his, all right? This person is trying to project onto you. All right, definitely possibly trying to come thinking of ways to come to you through through dreams, okay? I'm getting that this person is very vindictive, very vindictive. And this person definitely thinks about you day in and day not day out. That's what I'm getting. They think about you day in and day out. All right. But this person very very nasty energy, very stressed energy as well. This person is stressed. Stressed because of everything that's going on everything that's going on this person is going through karma and he wishes it will stop okay this is the energy that this is giving this person is is smoking his life away this person could have possibly lost weight i'm getting skinny mini okay this is what i'm getting here i'm getting skinny mini this person is um yeah this person is not getting any new new beginnings with origin in the in, in reverse okay not getting any new beginnings what is this origin give me more i'm getting more off this origin give me more on this origin card more on this origin card okay we got withdrawal yeah no no new beginnings but they're also they they can't stop whatever it is they can't stop. They're, they're having withdrawals. It's, it's, it's like they're, they're planting motherfucking weed seeds and shit. Like, this is the energy that this is giving. Like, this person is planting weed seeds. This person could have possibly a pill addiction as well as you see this person opening up a pill. So, this person could possibly have some sort of a pill addiction as well. This person is taking... I'm getting... Whoa, 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 whoa. This person is they're losing their mind because it's, it's a whole bunch of memories, okay? They have a whole bunch of memories, okay? You are somebody who could possibly be spiritual, okay? You could do tarot. This person could possibly be watching you do tarot. Whatever this is, this person is, you're stressing this person out. If you do tarot and this person watch you, you are stressing this person out, okay? This person is smoking. Wow. Okay, so that don't even look like a pill. It look like a cigarette now, but listen this person has lost their way all right it was we and it looks like it's, it's more serious than we thought with this uh iceberg okay this person has started some sort of harder drug okay somebody is on a harder drug this person could possibly be smoking crack all right this is the energy that this is given this person is in their head about you all right this is the energy that this is definitely given mm, 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 mm. this person is really awesome this is like it's given homelessness for real it's like like the energy that i'm feeling is like this person is bumming like this person is bumming for real like dirty clothes this person yeah this person is is looking for handouts okay it, wow this person i'm being called to my other deck oh my goodness where is it right here yeah this person is bothered that you have made them an ex all right, this person is completely bothered. What I'm getting though, this person has become addicted to a drug, a, a, a major drug. It's not just, uh, it's not just weed. It is not just weed. Um, this person could possibly smoke crack. 
this person could possibly be doing heroin, okay? But this person is, is I'm getting that this person is feeling like it's the reason, it's because you left is the reason why this person life has went to shit, all right? This person is mad because you have made him an ex. And this person is like, uh, they're regretting whatever situation they had with you, they are regretting not listening to the signs or the synchronicities of whatever the fuck it was. They like, okay, I should have read in between the lines something unexpected at a party. I don't know, they face came off at a party, look like. Something was exposed at some sort of party. They lost themselves probably at a party. Don't know, but this, yeah, something at a party. And I picked this up and wasn't trying to. So this person possibly got caught doing something at a party, okay? Somebody that they partied with possibly told you that this person was doing something at a party. It was unexpected to you, all right? This person has some sort of addictions here, very much so. All right, this is a part of the stress. We got hookup, could be possibly some sort of sex hookup. I mean, sex addiction addiction as well. We got heartbreak and we got hookup. Yeah, this person is so heartbroken that they are hooking up with everybody, okay? This is the, yeah, this is giving unhealthy energy here. They're hooking up with people because they're having a lot of stress and anxiety here, okay? This person is just living some sort of a wild life, possibly doing anything for money, selling their body for money. This is possibly what they were doing at the party as well, selling their body for money. Oh, wow. 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 All right. This person was at some sort of party where they had on a mask. Okay. This was a party that I'm getting. This is where the same sex energy come in at over here that I was not going to put out. But this person, it looks like they were at some sort of masquerade ball, some sort of masquerade party. This person had on this type of a mask at this party. Okay. You could possibly have one of these type of masks around your house. Somebody is familiar with this type of mask, but this, or this could have been the theme of some sort sort of flyer okay for this party this masculine went to this party and had on that type of mask this masculine could have been um gallivanting around this party for both men and women this is the energy that i'm getting here wow and that's the message that is the message when i picked up this card to show you that the message card was right behind it that is the message this masculine went to some sort of party and he was clowning okay he was fooling okay i'm getting cry now laugh later laugh now cry later so this masculine is he's involved in a whole bunch of stuff i'm getting um s and m like all all of that dark sexual um yeah that that i don't even know what you call that but you know how you see movies where they're going in a basement or something and they have um all of these people all these weird looking people doing all these weird looking things out in the open in front of everybody ancestors say i'm on it that is the truth all right this person is doing a lot for money and it's because he's in this poverty type of situation crown has definitely dropped he is no longer wearing a crown coin is definitely in reverse and this is not going to be nothing temporary he knows that this is going to be permanent for himself this masculine is almost like a life sentence this is what this is given it's like this masculine knows he's been sentenced to life as broke as fuck okay this is the energy and because he knows this he's doing all type of things to get money all right and in order to do half of these things he have to be drugged up this masculine has lost his way. He is untamed. He is untamed, okay? I'm getting that this right here, this card where I said he's hoping for the impossible, the impossible is getting back to you because he, as he has done too much. I'm hearing somebody saying, shit, I'll be damned if I take you. I ain't never taking you back. Hey, you will never have me again. Like, this is the energy. This person is hoping for the impossible, all right? And until you take him back, he's going to be in this wildlife type of energy here. The ancestors say that is the truth, but this is how it was supposed to be. This is this person's tower right here. This is this person's tower, okay? There's some, there's some, some sort of new love coming in for you that you're, is going to be unexpected. This is going to be unexpected, but this is also going to be a gift because you walked away from somebody. This is going to be some sort of romantic feelings that you have for someone new. This is not going to be this person. You've walked away from this, okay? I'm getting that somebody woke up right before this happened. Um... I'm getting that somebody actually was saved by the bell, okay? I said that yesterday. Somebody was saved by the bell literally here, okay? Because this person, excuse me, 
this person ended up um, falling into some sort of a rut. And this is something that you saw, all right? And you withdrew from this. This person wanted a second chance with you and this person was longing for you. But you you probably, your answer was probably one day, maybe one day, yeah. You was hopeful. I'm getting that somebody told somebody, yeah, maybe one day. But you already know, you like, shit, hell no, you want me fucked up. But I'm getting that you told this person, it could be, we could probably do something, but you already know that it's, it's over, okay? You have somebody coming in new for you because you made those last and final decisions, okay? That was the fork in a roll for somebody here. That fork in a roll for somebody here. Yeah, you made the decision to get out of this toxic situation, okay? I'm getting that your, your, your new friend is not toxic, okay? Remember, no new friends with music. Okay, no new friends, but your new friend, no, no, you're not getting any more new toxic friends. All right, this is the energy. Whoever this person is, this person been crushing on you. Meanwhile, your person is in the background with some addictions. Very toxic. Okay, very toxic. This is this is possibly your person watching you. Yeah, that's what they saying. This show person watching you remember i said the crazy glue this person is crazy stuck like glue to you this person is secretly admiring you watching you um wanting to be with you still you're not going to be having any more connections with anything deceptive or toxic here okay there is somebody that's in your energy that is somebody new okay and it's only a, they're coming it's only a matter of time before they get to you all right this is the energy that this is giving here any more cards? Okay, give me the energy of this masculine. I'm getting toxic, okay? That's that's what I'm getting here. This masculine is all in his head, okay? Indecisive. He he can't make his mind up about anything. This person is emotional with water here. Okay, and he's emotional because of some sort of new new rebirth that you've had. You've realized what your self-worth is. Okay, you've decided to distance yourself from this masculine here. This is what we get in this masculine. is def that definitely in his feelings about the new you. Okay, this is causing some sort of emotional storm. Your growth is causing an emotional storm for this person. Okay, you need a divine feminist energy here. Divine feminine. Give me the, the divine feminine again. We got regret. All right. Give me the divine feminine energy here. What is this regret? Clarify this regret. Yeah. I'm getting that you don't regret. All right. I'm getting that you do not regret anything because you transformed. I'm getting that you wouldn't change it for the world. This is what I'm getting. You're not living in regrets. But you'd be damned if you make a decision to go back to a situation. Yeah, leaf and bud. Like, I'm getting that. You you, you could have possibly used to smoke with this guy. You, you, you're like, no, nah, I'm not about to be in that type of energy. We got attraction here at the bottom. Okay? Hmm. And then we got masculine here. And then we got truth because of what I was about to say. There is somebody, somebody in this energy that regrets transforming. Because you're still attracted to a masculine. Now, that is not everything. Now, it's not everybody in this energy. And it's low vibrational, okay? Because it it, it's, it's kind of giving me that, okay? So, this is very strong feelings for somebody, all right? Somebody in this energy is in regret. Somebody regrets transforming because some, it, it, it's, a, it's whatever happened to this masculine, the, the drugs and all of this, this person has made you feel like it was your fault, all right? That's not to everybody. That's to some people. So, some people have is, is living some sort of regret because they like, damn, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so fucked up because I decided to, you know, push him away. And he came, he, he got like this after I left him, he got like this. And I'm getting that this is how this masculine is going to try to play on somebody's feelings here as well. But this is definitely how somebody is feeling now, but this masculine will come into your life and make you regret, regret some things. Okay. 
because you still have some sort of attraction ancestors say this is true somebody's masculine is going to come to some of these women here and try to make you feel bad for your change okay this masculine is going to try to make you regret your change ancestors saying to avoid this and separate from this okay avoid this and separate from this there is some some people here i'm just gonna be honest there's a lot of women here that is you a lot of people don't want to leave this person behind a lot of people still hold on to this one person because you feel like y'all have such deep connection and such such deep attraction here like ancestors are saying you don't want to make a mistake of your life they're showing you that this masculine has lost his crown he is very unfortunate and it is not temporary this is not a temporary situation for this person temporary problem is showing up in reverse this is a permanent problem for this person in this lifetime okay nothing you gonna do can help this masculine but what you can do is help him help ease his karma by taking on a load of his karma that's what you can do okay because this masculine he, he's, he's going to be in heartache over something that he no longer have. And it's you and other things that he no longer have in this situation here. Okay. Let me go to the lesson because that energy right there was the lowest of everything here. Yeah, that, this energy right here with whatever female is still yearning for a masculine or and has allowed this masculine to make you feel guilty that's lower than this masculine's energy all on drugs it's lower than that okay let me get up out of here because that right there just that energy about some of these women who still attached is that energy right there drained me just like that it didn't take nothing for me to start feeling that draining energy so let me go ahead and hurry up and get up out of this because i don't want to be sucked dry okay it feel like succubus energy okay and that's not for everybody because everybody is not in that type of energy but um be mindful be very mindful okay the painter productivity okay productivity is something productive for you are you being productive in your situations accept help and guidance okay this is something that this person didn't do this masculine he didn't accept help and guidance all right he didn't what's the lesson that's too many what's the lesson here i just heard make a wish Okay, I just heard make a wish. So, if this to to this is to the women that has made the choice to get out this situation. Ancestors are saying make a wish. You can have whatever it is. I just heard you can have whatever you like. Okay, we got communications, and then we got the waker at the bottom, or the walker, the unknown, and a journey that's in reverse. All right, somebody know. That they are moving in the wrong direction here. And that was that possibly this draining energy here. Um, there is somebody that wants to come and communicate with you. Um, this person is seeing that you're being very productive with Painter. This person sees that you're creating some, some sort of beautiful life. You're mending something. You're being guided by the gods, okay? This person, if this you are somebody who um, you have a lot of confidence in yourself and this is the reason why this person wants to talk to you as well like this person is trying to get that confident energy off of you because this person is not feeling confident at all i'm getting just your presence make this person feels confident but this is a journey that um somebody know that they this person is aware of why things fell apart for them this is the energy that i'm getting the painter 134 okay so i'm getting that this person fell short okay he is not of the 144 okay he, he fell short he's 134 all right this is the energy that this is given here this person fell short he lost his position here the painter within you is a font of create creativity waiting to burst forth 
This is not just the sort of creativity that requires a paintbrush or a pen, but the ability to bring about a vision, to know your own voice and what you bring into the world. Don't let anything hold you back. This is your chance to embrace the vision, to follow your instincts and bring about something beautiful and new, okay? So this person, this painter, this person held back. This one here, this masculine, he held back in a situation. Ancestors are saying, do not be in a situation of this masculine where you can clearly see that what you're doing is, is taking you down the wrong road, okay? Ancestors are saying, you have the paintbrush. You have the ability to create what it is that you want to create for your life. You have the ability to use whatever fucking colors you want to. Say like you're, you're, you're actually painting an art. You, you make all of the choices. You find out what canvas you want to put it on. You find out which brush you want to dip in which paint, okay? You make all of the choices. You make the decision to use different brushes for different type of things, a skinny brush, fat brush. You create what it is that you want. That's the message, okay? You create that. This person created this for themselves. It's nothing that they can blame on anybody. This person created this for themselves. Nobody picked the brush. Nobody picked the canvas. Nobody did anything. He did all of that himself. He himself. He created whatever he is living in right now. He created that for himself, okay? Um, ancestors are saying, now, what is it that you want to create for yourself? Because it, when it comes to leaving this person behind, you pick the canvas, you pick the brush, you pick the nigga, you pick the everything. It's your pick, all right? You can have somebody good, you can have somebody bad. You take the pick. It's up to you, okay? You are the one who is creating the creation. How do you want your end result to look? All right, this is what this is. This masculine wasn't thinking about the end result. This masculine was thinking about the here and now. And the and now he's worried about your end result. He never in his life was worried about an end result. But once he see you standing where you are and in your position, now he's thinking about your end result. Who is she going to end up with? Me or another nigga? Like, this is what this person is focused on now. This is the reason why this person is clinging to you. This is the reason why this person is watching you. This is the reason why this person has picked up on whatever drug he was using and then added another, okay? This person is now thinking about the end result for you, and he's possibly thinking about where his life is right now, okay? He created that life for himself, and it's time for you to create your life for yourself, okay? This is the energy, the fate, all right? People think that fate is just fate. Oh, yeah, it's meant to happen like this. Oh, yeah, it's just meant to happen like that. Yeah, it is, but you have a choice before it actually goes that way, okay? You can go this way, all right, down this asphalt road that end up breaking down, or you can go down the cement road. It's all up to you, but each one comes with a fate, so it's not any one thing that you pick is right or wrong. You have choices with, wherever you go. Whatever fork in the road you come to, you have the choice continuously in your life, okay? You have the choice. It's like driving in a car, all right? When I pull out of the parking structure, am I going to go left? Am I going to go right? I always have to come up with this choice every time I think I'm going to move a car, okay? If that's my situation. If you figure out which way you're going to go, and it's not the same way every time, okay? So you have the um, ability to make choices. This is what God put in place and in front of you to do. So your fate is not necessarily your fate, but if you decide to take the wrong road, that is the fate that you chose. Okay. This is the energy there. We got to wake up y'all. Like for real. We got to wake up. It's not, it, it's, it's cut. It's cut and dry like you think. It's, it's just not like that. It's not like that. You know what I'm saying? We like to blame our situation on other people. Like this masculine is blaming other people. When this masculine had all of the same choices that he didn't even think about when there was a choice for him to make. Okay? He, he created his own fate. All right? Some unexpected help is due to come your way. You may not be able to see what causes your struggles or know those who plot against you, but others can, and they won't let you face it uninformed. This guidance may come from an unexpected source, so look out for signs that will guide you in the right direction, okay? This is your guidance. This 
um, reading right now, this is your guidance. You have some struggles that is going to possibly land in your lap because of this person, but you can't say that you did not see them. This is a warning. This is a wake up, okay? This is me trying to guide you into a direction where you will you will be happy with making that decision. You don't have to go with what I'm saying, okay? You have the ability to make your own choices, but what my video is meant to do is to cause you to think and, and make you ponder on your choices, okay? Be, some of us, we just make choices and that's just a choice, okay? Get up, I think I'm gonna throw on these jeans today versus getting up and saying, okay, do I want to feel comfortable? Do I want to be cute? Uh, how do I really want to feel today? Do I want to be in black? Do I want to be in white? Is it cold outside? Like a lot of us actually take time and and to 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 when we pick out what we're trying to wear. This is the things that you need to take time with when it comes to picking out your man and picking out different situations that you want to happen for yourself. Now, if it's hot as hell outside and you in your closet like, yeah, do I want to wear white? Do I want to wear black? It's consequences to everything. You put on that black, you're going to be boiling fucking hot, hot as hell outside. Okay, it's consequences. This is the reason why we was given choice. Just like hot and cold, do I want to wear a long sleeve or do I want to wear a short sleeve? It's consequences to everything. You wear that short sleeve, you're going to be colder than you would have been with the long sleeve on. It's like we take the time to make those type of decisions, but we won't put as much time into fucking with somebody, like dealing with somebody. Like we won't even take those type of cautious thoughts when it comes to picking your person. All right, with us people, we see red ass flags, okay, all type of damn flags, and then we we don't even stop and be like, hmm, now is he going to be like this or is he going to be like? We don't even stop and do that. We just look and be like, hmm, and they go right on past. All right, it bother us, it trigger us, and we let that shit go right on past. Why? We we don't even do that with clothes. We don't even do that with our clothes. Okay, so we have to put more thought in things, okay? People are and things are trying to guide you in the right direction and you have to take heed to the guidance. This person was guided as well before this person came into this permanent type of problem that they have, this, this crown being in reverse, the money being in reverse. This person had many warnings. This person had many attempts. Message, okay? This person is now trying to get your attention with a raggedy ass, lime or ass, airplane in the sky trying to get your attention okay after he has ignored all his signs he want to make sure you hear his all right this is the energy this is the energy orator 74 okay it say doubting yourself is only holding you back it's okay if you think i mean i'm sorry it's okay if you take a little longer to think about how your Okay, let me start all over because I don't like messing up like that. Doubting yourself is only holding you. And I'm going to just say I was distracted thinking about other shit while I'm reading. Okay, so this person definitely wants you to be distracted. Okay, doubting yourself is only holding you back. It's okay if you take a little longer to think about how to voice your needs and desires. Writing a script of how to ask for these things might even benefit you here. Be confident in taking up a space and letting your voice be heard. Okay, so you have to be confident in whatever situations that you are about to come into. You cannot be in regret. Okay, if you have any type of regrets, that means you're not confident. All right, that's almost like opposites. Okay, I, you have to confidently make a decision. Now, if you make a decision and you regret the decision, like that's, that's non-productive here. We are all about the painter productivity. Okay, what are you trying to produce? All right. Now, there's many things that you can do that lead you down the road of regret. But do you want to do that? Or do you want to be productive? OK, this is the energy. You have to be confident in every decision that you make. And if you're not, you didn't make the right one or you didn't think about it long enough. That's the only time we have some sort of regret or um lack of confidence when it comes to certain things maybe we feel like we didn't think about it long enough if we're in regret we we that's the the effects of not thinking about it long enough or knowing 
that you did not make the right decision. Okay, this is the energy here. We have to uh, be more clear with ourselves, especially when it comes to communication. What is it that you want from you? What is it that you want from life? Okay, the same way you would tell somebody else how you feel, you need to be communicating with your body as well. How do you feel today? What is it that you're willing to deal with and that you're not willing to deal with? And be confident on what it is that you're not willing to deal with. Okay, this is the energy. Um, yeah, some, some of you people are going to have to let your voice be heard. Somebody not being clear. When it comes to telling somebody it's over, somebody is not being clear here. Somebody is like, um, somebody still got a string loose, all right? And you know, when you have a string loose, you can pull it and it keep on going. So I'm getting that somebody still has a string left for this person to pull, okay? You got to clip all strings. You got to make sure there's nothing to pull on you. Somebody is not making it clear for a masculine. Somebody is leaving a door open. For the masculine is like an open-ended question where you ask a question and it's not a clear yes or no it's a you know i don't know like it's, it's giving the energy of let me think about it type situation like and so this leaves this open for a masculine it leaves it open for the masculine to be like all right she didn't say yeah but she didn't say no either she said let me think about it so this person's still on your ass because you didn't say no and that's all this person is, is thinking in their head she didn't say no okay so this person is still going to be there still going to have a hard time separating from you because you did not make it clear and say no okay we got the walker in reverse One sixteen in reverse it says, you've been trying to move towards a new future for a while, but something keeps making you look back to the past. Unlike the upright meaning of this card, this isn't something that you can simply leave behind. You need to take the time to really address the problem. Perhaps you're questioning whether you need to move on at all, or perhaps there's something unresolved holding you back. Whatever the reason, it's time to do something about it. Did y'all hear that? And now, did y'all hear that? Now, what have I said? I already said this. You having a hard time leaving something behind. You ain't saying it's a yes. You ain't saying it's a no. But this card just said you have to make a decision. I'm going to read this again. You've been trying to move towards a new future for a while, but something keeps making you look back to the past. Unlike the upright meaning of this card, this isn't something you can simply leave behind. This is how you feel. You need to take time to really address the problem, okay? So for you that's having this hard time leaving somebody behind, you have to address what is the problem? Why are you having a hard time leaving this person behind? Is it, do you feel uh, like you're going to be insecure if, you, if this person, do you feel like you're not going to be able to find anybody? That's the problem that you have to address. You have to address your insecurities, not nothing about that nigga. You have to address your insecurities as to why you can't leave this person behind if that's your problem. But if you're having a hard time leaving somebody behind, that is what this means. What is the reason why? And that is what you address. Okay? If you feel like, you know, I don't want to have the same problems with somebody else, so maybe I should just go ahead and stick it out with this person, that is what you need to address. Are you going to really have the same problem with somebody else? No, because you don't have to put up with it. You can see the red flag and be like, check, all right, you, I'm done. Instantly. You ain't got to give up nothing. Nothing but conversation to see a red flag. That's it. All right? So whatever is keeping you from leaving a situation, that is what you have to address. And it's not going to be in the other person. Okay? So if this person have mind control over you, it's your mind that you have to address. It's nothing with that other person. Okay? This is the energy. Perhaps you're questioning whether you need to move on at all, okay? Or perhaps there's something unresolved holding you back, all right? Whatever the reason, it's time to do something about it, all right? We can no longer sit and ponder, 
all right the walker is in reverse this is somebody who is not moving and this is somebody who is not productive the walker in reverse okay i'm being urged to pick this card up ancestors say this is not your twin with the twin in reverse okay whoever is having a hard time walking away ancestors are saying that is not your twin okay that was truly divinely sent to someone who needs to hear it hit the like button comment subscribe and if you have not become a member yet please become a member so you can have access to all of my afterlife videos okay um again that was truly divinely sent to someone who needed to hear it and i will catch you on the next one